Hello, I've been baking a lot of bread recently and sometimes I quite enjoy some toast. The trouble with homemade bread is it tends to be smaller than shop-bought loaves so it doesn't fit that well in the toaster and that means when the toast pops it can be quite difficult to get out again. So what I need is some toast tongs. I think these should be pretty easy to make, really just three bits of wood. In the middle, a wedge and then two prongs. I haven't measured the angle of that wedge precisely, but really what it needs to be is just wider than the slot of the toaster, I feel. So now I can get the mitre gauge out and get this cut. Just eyeballing it with the mitre gauge, it looks like I'm gonna go for a five degree angle. I've cut quite a few wedges of varying thicknesses, so it gives me some options. Now though, I need the actual prongs of the tongs. I think I'll go for 20 centimeters long, so I'm gonna get that marked out and get some bits cut to length. Now I need to rip them to thin strips. I'm gonna go for about three centimeters, I think, because it's the compromise between I want them to be flexible, but also I want them to be strong. I cut these wedges out of a bit of tongue and groove flooring, so the actual groove is still on them. So I'm just gonna trim that off with a pull saw. I think they're a bit too long anyway. They're all trimmed off, slightly different lengths, but they're slightly different thicknesses, so they're all gonna look a little different, which I quite like. I'm gonna give everything a sand down, and whilst I've got the sander out, I'm also gonna round over the end of the kind of prongs bits. Uh, I think it just look better, and we'll stop them ever splitting. Well, help. Okay, now I'm just gonna get this all glued together. So sometimes it's quite difficult to glue things up when there's an angle, but I think this angle is gonna be shallow enough that it's not gonna be a problem. Just gonna remember to put it all around the right way. So the shallow bit of the wedge needs to go at the top and the curved bits of the prongs need to go at the bottom. Then we have six pairs of toast tongs. I never intended to do so many, but there we go. I'm just gonna leave these overnight to dry and then we'll come back to them tomorrow. These are all dry now, so I'm gonna get the clamps off and then I'm gonna give them all a sand down again with the electric sander just to clean up where I've glued them up. And then I'm gonna give them a bit more hand sanding. So they're all working and I could just leave them here, but adding a little storage option I think would be good. So I've got some little tiny magnets. So I'm gonna to go to the drill, drill a 10 mil hole. Then I can get the magnets glued into place.
try and get a dab of CA glue put into each hole and then the magnet can go in. Last job is just to get some finish applied. So I'm going for some beeswax oil as it's food safe. I'll put a link to this stuff down below. I'm going to leave these all to dry and then we can have some toast. I have some toast tongs, so I need some toast. I've baked some bread and as you can see, it's definitely not the size of a normal shop bought loaf. So we'll get some bits done and whacked in the toaster. toast is not sticking out the top of the toaster so now I can use my tongs to retrieve it. So there we go, really simple handy little thing and then when you're done with them they just magnetise the side of your toaster. So, thank you everyone, and uh, now I'm going to enjoy my toast. <laughs>